Welcome to the Project Demonstration of Solar Power Drone along with Video Surveillance. So here a flight controller usually to control this drone movement is up, down and left, right, forward and rotation to, towards the clockwise or counterclockwise. And in this feature we have added extra features to get the live streaming with help of this ESP32 camera in the front side. Uh, we have interface that. And the next, the system getting power supply from this battery pack and which is the rechargeable battery pack. So there are two ways to charge a battery. In our, in our project we had extra feature using these uh, renewable sources like solar panels we are going to charge in the battery pack and uh, we are using the solar panels uh, directly uh, which are providing the 12 volts DC outputs of 600 milliamps of current that is directly given as input to this battery pack from this power uh, cables and also we have placed the LED indication so here we can see the LED indication uh, which will show the status of the power availability from the solar panel so if we are flying this drone on the sunlight directly uh, with the help of the sunlight the system will provide us the chargeable voltage from this battery pack while you are utilizing that also and the same video streaming is getting from this uh, ESP32 camera to our mobile phone or tablet directly so for that first of all uh, we need to do uh, some basic settings to get the live streaming so just go to hotspot settings of your phone and configure the hotspot to project 7171 without any space uh, without any capital letter and password should be 129 and AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz of successfully uh, configure these hotspots on the hotspot and also we need to install one application that is network analyzer application which is available in the play store so using this application we are going to get the IP address of our drone nothing but IP address of our uh, ESP32 camera now connect the power supply to this Right. So once you made the connection, then there we can see the one device will be connected in your mobile phone. So okay, you need to see that. Otherwise, you can just yeah right. We can see one device is connected. And now go to options, land scan, and do the scan. So this IP one is our mobile phone, another is IP address of our or ESP32 camera next open directly so now we can get the streaming now, so we are using a camera of ESP3 camera which is 1.5 megapixel directly streaming purpose and based on the network speed of your mobile phone not the network speed but not the internet speed based on the hotspot streaming ratio the system will provide us a continuously video streaming to the mobile phone so maximum of 5 to 600 milliseconds delay will be there while doing the video streaming thank you